Good afternoon. Somebody help. How are you guys going today? All right. This is what I've got planned for today. And this is going to include our warm up a lot as well. It's head movement. Right, so I'm going to show you head movement. I don't teach a lot of head movement. I didn't use it a lot in my style of fighting. A little bit. But I know some guys that are so slick at it and that I used to watch them train it and I used to train that with them that I'm going to show you guys the movements that um, these guys put together. So don't think that just because you've got great head movement you're going to move out the way at every shot. But it's going to make it real difficult for the guy to be able to hit you cleanly if you have a lot of head work. But if you have a lot of head movement, your feet normally stay still, that's when you might be vulnerable to the leg chop. So you want to be making sure that you can use push kicks and your front block and cross block quite efficiently to stop the chops. Because that's what most people start to do. If you start doing a lot of head work while I'm throwing combos, I'll start chopping your legs or start um, trying to sweep your legs out. So that's what I'm going to work on today. And I'm going to show you a method that, I've used, that I used to use, that I used to drill. Right, not that I was very successful with a lot of head work when I was fighting. I didn't rely on it a lot, but I, it did have its place and it did work. But I've taught this to a lot of other guys, like Jason Tran, for example, and uses it perfectly. All right, so we're just going to do a bit of a warm up first. So we're just going to jump, uh, just punching and jogging on the spot. Other cuts. Punch out. Might not spend too much time on this. Cuts. And time. All right. So if you're going to have your head, head movement, right, you want to make sure you've got really good balance. Because you're going to find out why in a minute anyway. Because when you start moving your head around, if you're not balanced highly from that midline point, you're going to end up starting to have to step after you move your head, and we don't want that. All right, so what we're gonna do first, we're just gonna start with just simple slip. The slip, that's just coming off line. So we're just gonna go like this, this is a slip. So you see, I'm getting punched here, and I'm just slipping my body, my head. Slip. That's slipping the jab. Go and pass over there. I can slip inside. That's outside, right? Just a quick explanation. There's my punches there, right? Anytime you move inside, here, that's called inside. So if I threw the jab and you move in here, you inside slip. If you move here, you move outside slip. And same, same, it's my cross. Move in here, inside slip. And move here, outside slip, okay? So we're outside slipping the jab, right? And now we're gonna outside slip the cross. We'll do a couple each. Now, I'm transferring my weight when I do hip work, but I'm not moving my feet. So my, my weight goes front foot there. Slip on my front foot. Here, it goes on my back foot, my weight. Not all of it, I couldn't do it on one leg like that. That would put all my weight on my back foot. But majority of it, it's on my back. Majority of it on the front. You see I make a pyramid, can you see that? So I slip there and slip there, and slip there and slip there. So you can slip the jab and slip the cross, then slip the jab, then slip the cross. Do you see when I slip the cross, my body goes too, you see that? Same here. My body, I don't go like this. Like rigid here, like that, here, 
and it's like, uh, uh, that's no good. It's like, choo, choo. no, this little movement, move, choo, choo. just go straight past. All right, so we slip, we're moving on the front foot there. How about this time, right? I go like this. That's not a lean back, as in like we lean back for the kick. Lean back for the kick, here and I like, pop. Yeah, I lean back, I lean back straight there. And I drop my chin. But I can't stay there, so what I do, I have a movement straight after that. So we go like this, back, out. You see that? Back, out, and then shoulder rolled in. I've got my hands down to show you what I'm doing here so you can see, right? I have my guard up when I'm doing this. I'm back, down, you see that? Back, down, back, and then down here, like that. Not slip, you slip there. I don't know, I don't have a name for that. Like, I go back, back, and then I go roll this way, rush shoulder roll. He's saying, shh, shh. this one, bam, bam. You know what I do? I can roll. I can roll from there also, or I can throw shots. Like one, two, three. So you're overextending as you come in to throw. I'm going to show you this later on with my um, with Candice, and she throws some shots at me, and I'll show you how I make you very vulnerable. So we're going back and then roll shoulder, back roll two, back roll. And it's the other way, back roll. You go back, roll. You go back, roll. And then we're going to be throwing that uppercut there. Now we've got the roll, right? Well, I mean, I don't want to call that one that we just went there, that shoulder roll. So we go, we call that lean back and go side, right? We call it that. Lean back, go side. Lean back, go side, slip, slip. All right, so we've got now four movements. Now I'm gonna add in the final movement, the roll. So we go like that, slip, roll. Slip, roll. You see that? So now, if they're firing two or three shots at me, and I slip and roll, they're all gonna go missing, yeah? You slip, roll. You slip, roll. You gotta stay inside your train tracks. Don't start sticking your head too far out there, then you're gonna step. So you slip, roll, slip, roll. I don't look at the ground when I do any of this, right? If I look at the ground, I could get uppercut it or knee in the face and pull down. So I try to stay looking at them. So then if we went slip, roll, right, we go, Lean back, side, roll. Lean back, side, roll. Lean back, side, roll. Lean, side, roll. Lean, side, roll. Slip, roll. Slip, roll. All right, let's work a pattern. I call one, we go slip, roll, two. Slip, roll, three, uh, lean, side, roll, four, lean, side, roll. All right? So we're gonna just keep using those, um, that head movement over and over and over again in that pattern. One, that's going on the left. One, left, two, right, okay? One, slip, roll, two, slip, roll, three, lean, side, roll, four, lean, side, roll. Start again. One, two, three, four. You see when I go back there, there's movements, there's one, two, three. This way is one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. You see that? Let's keep going through that now in no particular order. Right, so I said we're gonna use that as a warm up. Two minutes on the timer. And 
Let's go. In no particular order. Gotta check you guys at home at one minute down. Remember, not too down, too far down, right? That's the mistake that I see. You gotta go too far down like this. Let's make it a bit, a bit smaller. The side on. So we just whoop, out the way. Whoop, whoop. See what I mean? Just gotta stay within yourself. Don't go too big. We've got 30 seconds more to go. I'm gonna now show you what we're actually evading in a minute. There's some counters in there that we could be throwing as well. So we'll get to do the um, evasion work with a counter, and then I've got a nice fun drill we can do at the end. All right. So the, just the standard slip to start with, right? If Candace throws just a jab straight at my head, and I just went slip like that. And then I'm just going to go back over each of those things we just did before one at a time before I put all that stuff together. Okay, now, he throws the drops. So that's aimed straight at my head and then I slip out to my left. So the jab, I slip to my right. I'm slipping outside, by the way. And then again, the cross, and I slip this way. Okay. Now, the roll. So, I did this slip. And then let's say the cross comes straight after me, straight behind the jab. So I slip the jab, she throws the cross, I roll. You see, that got me out of the way. That would do deal with the jab hook too. So if she throws the jab hook, I could then slip the jab, jab then hook. So I slip the jab and then roll on the hook. And then I can count a shot. Okay, so that's what that slip and roll's good for. You could slip, slip, but I find sometimes I run into the next, the next shot. So, like, I slip the jab, and then the cross comes, and I slip, and I bang, I get a hit. So I slip then roll, I don't slip then slip so much, right? So if she threw the right cross, then the left hook, say, example, I slip, but roll. So she throws the right cross, a slip, and then left hook, I roll. And then boom, I've got my counter. Do you see why the roll is important? That lets you get away with the next shot, right? If your slip is not very efficient and you can't roll, you can't get out of the way of the next shot. Now, if you're throwing a bit more of a flurry at me, son, right? Let's say, jab, cross, right hook, and the right hook's gonna be hard to try and knock me out. So, I go like this. Throw the jab, well, I'm out of range, right? So that's the lean back. And then she throws the cross, and I go inside, remember that? Remember I went lean back side? So she throws the jab, Lean back, 
I drove across, I go to the side, and then remember what I did before? I went and roll, roll. Boom! If she's starting to throw another combination after that, that's gonna get me out of the way. So let's show if she throws jab, cross, hook, cross. She's going through that motion, right? Jab, cross, hook, cross. I'm gonna do my movements as she throws those shots. So let's go slow. She throws the jab, I lean back. She throws the cross, I go in. She throws the hook, I go under. Look where I am at now. You see? And that. It's all covered up as she's throwing that shot as I've moved into where her power's not there anymore. If she was throwing three or four straight shots, this would get me out of the way as well. I'd lean back, go side, duck under, and then whatever I've got after that. And then I can be using that again on the opposite side, this way. So she throws the jab, throws the cross, and now I'm out this side, and then she throws the left hook, a roll, boom. So I just went under jab, cross hook, right? So I went lean back from the jab, sideways to the cross, and then under when it was the hook, again. So go one, two, three. You see? All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a focus mix on, and we're gonna throw those combinations and you're gonna have a counter attack, just like I was showing then. Okay, so this is how we're gonna work that. All right, so, Candice get into range. Candice is gonna show the one, two combination. Okay, I'm going to throw the jab, she's going to slip and counter with an uppercut. So you're going to slip that way. And uppercut. Do you see the slip set her up for the uppercut? Again, go back. One, two. Slip, uppercut. Again, one more. We'll do three on each of these before we start doing some pass. All right. Let's say I throw the cross. So this time she slips to the right, or oh my right, her left, and throws the left uppercut. One, two. So she slips out this side and throws left. Again. One more. Good, all right. Next drill. I'm gonna keep the drills, I know we got pretty advanced with that head movement, but I'm gonna keep the drills a bit more simple. Okay, this time, she's going to jab, uh, jab cross. Okay, now I'm gonna go jab cross back at her, and she's going to slip and roll. So, I throw the jab to slip this side. And then I throw the cross and you roll underneath it and you set up your left foot. Slip and roll. One more. Slip and roll. And I could be throwing a right hook. The only thing that that might not work against is if I threw that right uppercut. She might cop it a little bit. All right. Here's the other combination that I want to work before we start smashing it out. One, two combination. I throw the right punch at her head this time and she slips the right punch, rolls under my left hook and comes back with a right hook. So there's a slip first, then a roll, then a counter hook. There's a slip first, then a roll, then a hook. One more. Okay. All right. I'll let you guys get a drink water. Drink break. Right. Put the focus mitts and gloves on them. If you've got them.
So I left that for the last, the, the pads. So we've got four combinations we're gonna work. If you're doing these on the bag, right, you just um, go through the motion, but throw the shot on the bag itself, right? So you go, you throw your one, two combination. You need to slip. And then we will do an uppercut from the slip. So you go body rip, okay? Because you could use a body rip also if you slip. When it comes to slip and roll, you will go one, two, slip, roll, and then counter the hook into the bag. So you'll slip and roll in front of the bag if that's what you're doing. All right, okay. We're going two minute rounds, 30 seconds rest. 30 seconds for me to explain the next combination before we go into it again. All right. Okay, so it's one, two, slip my jab, counter with an uppercut. Right that way. Pad holders, job not to move, right? Pad holders stay still. The fighter moves in, slips, counters, and then moves out of range. Move in, slip, counter, move out of range. You must move out of range and the wise and probably hit you again. I'm actually aiming to hit Candace in the head here, by the way. I'm not aiming over her shoulder. I'm throwing a shot and I'm throwing out as realistic as possible. You'll notice I even step when I throw my jab. I don't just go like this, because that wouldn't have hit her, right? I throw a jab and I step. I'm being as realistic as, a, um, as I could, so she can get the most realistic out of the training. Back out. 
That's it, that's the one. So you move in. One, two. Slip. Boom. Step out. That's it. Keep it going, guys. Move in. One, two. Slip. Boom. Move out. 15 seconds. One, two. Slip. Boom. Move out. Nearly there. One, two. Slip. Boom. Then move out. One more. One, two. Then move out. Okay. Alright, so that's getting you out of the way of one shot. Now I'm throwing two shots at you after your two at me. I'm throwing, you're throwing a one two at me, I'm throwing a one two at you. You're firstly slipping, then you're gonna roll, then you're gonna count a hook. Okay? Let's practice that one. So let's go slow, let's pick it up. One two. Slip the jab, roll the cross, count a hook, move out. Perfect. One, two. I throw one, two back. Move out. So there's two movements here. You slip, you roll, then you count a hook. You slip, you roll, you count a hook. Now I'm varying up that combo as well. So Candice has to time the roll. You don't just roll, you wait. Perfect. Now adding the right uppercut on top of that combination like we did when we were slipping before. So it goes left hook, right uppercut. So it's the other way around the um, counter. Ding, ding. Up, move out. Minute to go. And I'm trying to stimulate a boxer or a fight as much as possible. Throw it as realistic as I can. Throw my jab realistic. My cross. I turn my body, I turn my foot, everything. It's realistic. And you see Candice, she's not just going, oh, this is what I've got to do. She's actually waiting to see when it comes. Make the appropriate response. Two more. One more. Okay, this time I'm coming back at you with a cross hook. So you're going to slip the cross, roll the hook, then come back with your own hook. Okay, let's have a quick little practice of that. So you go one, two. So I'm throwing right cross, you slip. Throw left hook, you roll, counter right hook. Then move out, that's it, perfect. And again, to one, two. I throw the right cross, you slip. I throw the hook, you roll. You count on your hook and you step back. Alright, now you're going to add on that uppercut as well. So you're throwing your right hook, then your left uppercut. That's it, minute to go. Slip and roll. Hook up. Slip and roll. Hook up and up. That's it. One, two. Slip and roll. Very good. That's it, guys.
20 seconds. Keep it going, guys. That's it. Make sure you got your guard up. Try to keep your guard up while you're slipping. That's it. Keep going. One more. And time. All right. So, I said that well, there's a bit of a fun drill that we can do to practice that um, head movement. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you that. So what you're going to do, you're going to have your partner, if you've got one, right? This won't work without having a partner. You need a partner for this drill. And they're going to have their gloves on. And it's imperative that they don't throw the shots with any sort of venom, right? Because what you're going to do, you're just going to throw some combinations lightly with your hands not flexed. You don't make fists, right? You just like loose. So if you hit them, it's loose. And you're gonna move your head. And you're just gonna have head work while they throw random shots at your head. I'll give you a quick demo. But what will give you the other one? I still use my hands as well to defend myself. And I try to stay just outside of Candice's range. I don't know if you guys can even actually see that. Sometimes she actually gets a little bit of leather on my face, just a little bit. But I don't want to let any of it. There's a little trick that I do when someone extends themselves too much and then I just sweep their front leg out like that and I throw a knee off that. So I'll just quickly show you that. So as, as Pam has tried to extend into to throw her first punch, I, I swear like that. Now she extends herself and she steps her front foot a little bit more and then throws the right. Move like that. You brought that up. You didn't do that last time. So they don't bring this up, she just did. That's why I didn't get an efficient sweep. I'll show you again. So they go for your head and they move this foot twice, which is what I was getting her to do before. So she went once in my head, twice in my head. You step this foot. <laughs> this foot steps twice, it's wrong. It's not what you're supposed to do, but people do it trying to get you. So again, you gotta step this foot twice. So it's one, two, look, see that? And then the knee. It would have worked a lot better if I had it going in the flow. We've got another, another one minute of that. Let's go again. Right, and I like to play that, you know, you can have 
You know, I do around at you, you do around at me. And then, you know, also, as I'm being evasive, I'll throw shots back. I'd put my gloves on as well. Or throw little inside sweeps and chop kicks, push kicks to the leg and push kicks to the body and to keep you really off balance as well. And that's something that we can uh, work in a bit later on. All right, so I hope you really like that. Um, head movement. That's something that you can practice a lot. You can just practice it in the shadows like I showed you before, you know, slip, slip. And then practice that in amongst everything else. See? And then if you've got a ball or a bag that's like this, a friend of mine, he would always finish off his session with, uh, you know, Have a great evening. So what do you got?